It's Palm Sunday, and nobody knows what the hell that means. But I do know it means stuffed shells, some delicious concoction of chicken, sausages, peppers, and onions. Plenty, and I mean plenty, of wine. And more chop busting than most functional adults could handle. But, because I'm there, it also means watches. Some seriously cool vintage watches. They are so blatantly handsome and interesting that even people who don't know collecting vintage watches is even a thing could appreciate a whole lot. Rowan, take one. Mike and take one. Oh my god. Right? Oh, I didn't know we were doing it for real right. life. We're for real now? This is my cousin Michael, and I'm... if he would stop busting my chops for 10 seconds, yes. I would show him some Nine, of the amazing eight. offerings from this week. Beautiful watches have some amazing <laughs> offerings. I just love Louis Brown. <laughs> I bet you've never seen one of these. A vintage Rolex reference 4361. Truth is, I hadn't either, but now I can't stop admiring it. The small crown logo, smooth bezel, and matte metallic dial, almost reminiscent of fresh steel in the Manhattan skyline. And taking it out to the West Coast, the Californian numeral configuration is far beyond what I would call a wet dream for vintage Rolex lovers. Talk about understanding how to execute simple design elements perfectly, right? The case, hands, indices, they all lend themselves to each other to create this perfectly balanced, super simple, and undoubtedly timeless aesthetic. And now it doesn't hurt that the years have also treated this extremely well, giving this dial a toasted marshmallow patina. The more I see, the more I realize hands are really my favorite design element. And these original, custard syringe hands do that developing passion justice. It's not an homage. It's a ripoff. A really well-made, beautiful Swiss ripoff of the legendary Cartier Tank Luis. Equally as beautiful, much more approachable. Damn, this thing is good. It's fat, it's crisp, it's panda, and it's without question one of the coolest chronographs I've been able to own. And I hate to pat myself on the back, but I love the way this butterscotch strap complements not only the dial, but the red lollipop chronograph seconds. And then there's this. A Rolex reference 1002, not only in pristine condition, but complete with its original inner and outer boxes, paperwork, and even hang tags. In many ways, this watch qualifies as a grail piece. There is no question. Generously gifted to a gentleman named William Bond for his 25 years of service at the Coca-Cola Bottling Company in Baltimore, Maryland. It's just as beautiful today as the day it was made, and I could not be more proud to call this one of the finest vintage Rolex we have ever sourced. This week's new additions are as awesome as they are obscure. It was just as much my pleasure to source them as it will be to answer your questions and to ship them off to their new geeky homes.